Hi guys, my name is Bas and welcome to episode number 25 of my AstroVisits tutorial videos here on YouTube. So today we're going to take a look at collinearity and we're going to do that with a data set which we have used before with regression because collinearity and uh, is a part uh, if you want to get those values you have to you have to make a regression table so uh, if you need any help on regression then i do strongly recommend watching episodes 13 until 19 stuff like that uh, in there i explain multiple linear regression very very uh, detailed in a very detailed manner so if you need any help with regression for example with moderation then I advise looking at those videos. Uh, if this video is helpful to you in any way, shape or form, then please leave a like on this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel to mean the world to me. So we're going to take a look at collinearity and I've, uh, I'm using my own SPSS data set for this. And collinearity, it says here in Dutch, is basically to which extent the independent variables are related to each other. So in this case, we're going to take a look at the uh, at the relationship between uh, job, which is a job tier, which is a categorical variable, to income. So if your job increases, uh, so if your job tier increases, then your income increases. But we take gender as a moderation variable. So you can see gender is either zero or one, with zero being the women and one being males, and an interaction variable. Uh, which you make by multiplying your independent with the moderator. So 1 times 0 becomes 0 and 4 times 1 becomes 4, etc. And you can do, um, you can make a, a multiple linear regression with this, uh, which I've already explained uh, in episode, I think, 18, which you go to Analyze, Regression, Linear, since we're still doing linear regression. Then the dependent variable is Income. And the independent variables are job and gender. And then you press next and then you uh, select moderation gender job. We've already done this, so I'm not going to spend any more time on that. But it is important that you go to statistics and then select, uh, besides the estimate and the model fit, you also select over here collinearity diagnostics because you want to know the collinearity. So then you press continue, then you press paste. If a syntax screen wasn't opened already, then it will be now. And then you select the code which belongs to it and press run selection. And if you then go to the bottom, you go to the, you get to the uh, coefficients table, which up to significance is the same as we've already previously seen. We see that the slope of job is 18,000, which is significant. We see that gender, so the moderating variable, is minus 9000 as a slope, which is also significant. And we can see that the interaction variable is 4000 and is also significant, which is the most important part. Because then in, in this way we could see that uh, gender is really a significant moderator for the relationship between job and income. So that was a uh, very short summary of what we had already discovered so far. But today we're going to take a look at the final two columns, which are the collinearity statistics, which are tolerance and uh, VIF, which stands for, I keep forgetting it, it stands for uh, variance inflation factor. It's not important that you remember this as long as you know that it's fifth. Um, and what collinearity basically means is to what extent the independent variables correlate with each other. So in this case, to what extent do job and gender and the interaction variable correlate with each other? And if they correlate too much with each other, then it basically means that they explain each other because uh, if they are too much related, then uh, the uh, two variables uh, or three variables in this case could explain each other and therefore the actual relationship between the independent variables and the dependent variable would be disturbed. For example, we're going to take a look at uh, the uh, relationship between job and income is 18,000 and the effect between gender and income is minus 9,000. But if those two variables, so job and gender, 
are too much related together, so they have a too high, uh, so their correlation is too high, then those uh, relationships with the dependent vector can't really be trusted. It would mean that the two, uh, yeah, that the two of them are too much intertwined, and therefore cannot really separately give an effect, uh, have a relationship on the income, because it would always be influenced by the other one. So it's important that during your research for your master thesis or for your PhD, or even if it's a small bachelor uh, course you're taking, that you take a look at the final two collinearity statistics. And tolerance shows, uh, and I'll take the explanation, uh, I don't have the explanation, but tolerance needs to be above 0.1. If the tolerance is below 0.1, it means the multicollinearity is too high, while if it is above 0.1, in this case it's 0 0.53, uh, 0 0.531, 0 0.176 and 0.148, so that's fine. This means that the, uh, that the separate independent variables aren't related too much together. And then you can take a look at the VIF, so the variance inflated factors, and it's basically the same value, only it is 10 divided by 0 0.53 and 10 divided by 176 and 10 divided by 148 equals, in this case, 6.762. So always, if one is okay, then the other is as well. And if one of them is wrong, then the other is as well, because it's uh, the VIF, uh, so the variance inflated factor is... Uh, 10 divided by the tolerance uh, and the other way around uh, tolerance is 5 times uh, is uh, 10 divided by 5 so uh, these two uh, these two variables so these two values so from tolerance and 5 show whether there's too too much multicollinearity and if there is that is a problem and that would mean that your regression results aren't uh, really valid. So the same as which we took a look at yesterday. Yesterday we took a look at... Uh, yesterday, it's the same as uh, yesterday we took a look at the KMO and Bartlett's test of sericity, which determines the validness, uh, the vali validity of the factor analysis. While uh, these two requirements, so the tolerance and the fifth, are uh, conditions you should meet in order for your uh, uh for your uh, regression to be valid because if tolerance is below 0 0.01 uh is below 0 0.1 and vif therefore is higher than 10 that means that you haven't met those conditions and therefore your uh, uh the rest of your regression results aren't valid so you better hope that the collinearity statistics are valid so are uh, all right okay so i hope that it makes a bit more sense now that the collinearity statistics both tolerance and fifth uh, show whether the independent variables are actually independent from each other that they don't relate too much you can test it with tolerance and vari uh, variance inflated factors uh, and those are uh, requirements you should meet before you take an actual look at the uh, regression results because those regression results depend on whether the collinearity statistics are okay or not. Okay, so if this video was helpful to you, then please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. There will be way more SPSS coming. And if you have a question on this topic, then uh, please leave it in the comment section down below and most of the times answer on the same day or at least in the same week. Uh, and I'll be back later with more SPSS. So, but for now, I'm out. Bye.